because I had no business being there. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm over here competing with somebody's lawnmower. It's literally 9 o'clock in the morning, so I have no idea why we're mowing our lawn. Or maybe it's a leaf blower. I don't know what it is, but it's so loud. Anyways, I'm about to go run some errands. Kind of also want to do a little bit of self-care later on. I feel like I've been just on go, 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 just kind of like working and not taking a pause. So I think I want to do a self-care afternoon like a couple hours both of my kids have clubs today so they're gonna be home a little later so it's like the perfect day to do it i'm thinking like a little mocktail maybe like a movie or an episode of something and just like kind of chill and relax and kind of like you know we're gonna go grab some coffee at roasted swing by target whole foods and maybe the nike store because i'm trying to get like some stuff for johnny today and Y'all, my makeup drawer is, like, not good. Um, I have those long Alex drawers from Ikea. They're the long ones. Like, they're really wide. And basically, like, my makeup got so heavy that the drawer is, like, sinking. Like, three of them are sinking. So, I don't know how to fix it. Like, I don't understand how I could possibly fix it. Because those drawers, you can't pull them apart. And I'm trying to like push the cardboard thing back up. It's not working. I'm going to check online, but I really don't know if there's any like, a, you know, somebody with recommendations on how I could fix it. But in the meantime, I took all my makeup out because the other day I was trying to get a product out and I couldn't. So I had to take everything out of three drawers just to get to the bottom drawer because they wouldn't open. I was thinking about going to Home Goods and getting maybe like some type of cart so I could put my stuff on in the meantime until I decide what I want to do. I'm thinking of getting the slimmer Alex drawers and just getting two of those so that way they're not as wide and I've never had that issue with them. I've had those drawers as well in the past. The only thing is I really hate putting those drawers together i really do anyways y'all let's go get coffee i am in need of some coffee this morning i overslept i was just i stayed up late watching a tiktok hate that for me <laughs> i was scrolling on tiktok i came across some podcasts and i was just yeah they got me they got me tonight tiktok got me good mm -mm. it's been a minute since they got me but to last night <laughs> they got me All right, so I just got my coffee from Roasted. Just pulled into Target. I have to actually film a little campaign in here. I forgot. I should have did yesterday with Johnny, but I didn't, so yeah. I think I wanna get one of these. I need to get um, a mug, but it's locked. But you need to go to a customer service. Customer service? Which mug? It's um, it, yeah, the electronic one. Target was literally so empty today, but everything took 10 years longer than it needed to. First of all, I went to get the Ember mug and it was locked up. I'm like, what the heck? I asked this lady, she was like, oh, you have to go to customer service for those. So I'm like, fine, I'm gonna do the rest of my shopping and then I'll go to customer service. So I go to the electronic section, I get his AirPods and i should have asked the guy at that point in electronics but i didn't because she had already told me customer service i was like well, whatever i'll just do the rest of my shopping and then i'll go back customer service is in the front of the store so i get the airpods i go get the rest of the stuff i needed and then i go to customer service the guy up there he's like oh i don't have the key but i'll find somebody else with it so he walks back with me so kind and he ends up calling the same guy that rung me up for the airpods i'm like are you kidding me <laughs> I literally could have just asked him. I didn't know though because since the other associate told me customer service, I didn't think to ask him when he rang up the AirPods. So he opens up the mug for me. I go to the front and I always use the Circle app to just double check the prices. So I did that and the mug was actually on sale. It was like $40 off online. I was like, what? So you're probably like, why is this mug even 
more than $40 to begin with. It's like a heat control temperature mug. I'll show you guys real quick. Johnny doesn't watch my vlogs. <laughs> well, at least I don't think he does. He does sometimes, but like once in a while. This is the mug. I'm going to tell him don't watch any of these. But it's like a heat control mug, and I thought he would love this because he constantly is reheating his coffee. It, it's a whole thing. I don't really know much about it. I just know that's what it does, and I thought it would be a good present for him and i know he needed new airpods so i got him some new airpods i actually got him the uh one above the one that he has right now i don't know the difference but it's a little different than the one he has so anyways back to the mug it was on sale online and i'm like that's a huge difference i definitely want a price adjustment so there's four of us at self checkout the lady who's doing self-checkout decides, not decides, she has to help another customer. So she goes on a register and now I'm waiting. I have the help sign on, waiting for her to come back. Meanwhile, three of the other people, no, two of the other people at self-checkout, so now three of us have the help sign on. Like five minutes later, somebody else ends up coming to help us. I got my little price adjustment, but like the crazy thing to me was that the store was empty. Like there wasn't really that many people there wasn't too much going on it was really calm there was not even a line but i guess there's just not a lot of workers so it made everything a lot slower or maybe just too many things were happening at the same time i don't know, I don't know what was going on this morning now i'm a little nervous to go anywhere else because i'm like what's going on is today one of those days like mm, i'm a little nervous but we're gonna go to nike and then we'll go to whole foods so i was telling you guys i had to shoot to shoot some stuff in target for a brand that i'm working with on instagram i get to the section and the guy is restocking and i'm like are you kidding me so like i couldn't even start shooting for a while like i'm standing there like kind of in the way he's in the way i'm in the way and I... <laughs> girl eventually i did get some clips so hopefully i could put something together because i'm gonna need to say a little prayer because we're gonna head to nike now by the way i'm wearing that new burberry perfume it smells so good it Hey, we got it. We got it. I actually love this one more than the one I saw online, so I'm happy about that. All right, so we're gonna go to Whole Foods real quick, grab the um, toast. I think I might get two bottles today because I feel like we be going through it. Johnny Loki be drinking my toast. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a couple bottles and then I think I'll get kombucha as well. I'm gonna get pomegranate because I wanna make um, pomegranate, like a pomegranate mocktail. And I think that's all I needed at Whole Foods. I may see something in there when I get in there, but I think that's all I need. So I'm excited about Johnny's presence, though. Like, I'm really excited, you guys. You have no idea because I am usually scrambling last minute to get his stuff. <laughs> but this year, we're on point, okay? It's like one more in here. This one is cranberry and ginger. I think they're all the same. I'm just gonna get this one. All right, I'm back home. This is my Trader Joe's bag, but I went to Whole Foods. I just got some kombucha. I ended up getting a bunch of pomegranate stuff because I figure maybe I can make a little pomegranate drink. So I got the toast. I got two bottles of the sparkling white tea, cranberry and ginger toss. So th this one and then this one here. This is for my kids. This is for my kids snack. I also also got this little um, container of cranberry, not cranberry. Um, I also got this pomegranate container. I got a little orange for garnishing. And then I got some palm pomegranate juice. Oh, and I also got this container of water. I'm gonna try finding a spot for it because it's kind of big. I just sat down, I'm about to wrap some presents because I wanna get that out of the way before I do anything else. Actually, I should probably check my to-do list and make sure that I'm not missing anything that I need to do first. I have this video already edited and uploaded. I just need approval to know that I could post it tomorrow. So I'm really just banking that it gets approved so I don't need to edit anything. But if it doesn't get approved, I'm gonna need to edit a whole nother video for tomorrow. So the good part is that I already have the video filmed, but the bad part is I would need to edit it. So I'm just praying that it gets approved. 
I actually wanted to go to Sally's because I wanted to cut my hair. Just change the light and it's kind of bright. But I didn't find any gift boxes, so I guess we're just gonna do the other stuff for now. All right, we'll wrap. We can wrap the little mug that I got. These are the AirPods that I got, these kinds. He has the regular, like version one. I think this is version three. I really, really, really wanna go see that Beyonce movie again, which is kind of crazy for me. Like I'm not that person typically, but it was so inspiring to watch that I kind of want to go see it again. And, and I kind of wish I went to the concert. Like I'm not a concert person at all. So I had no plans to go to her concert because I just, that's not my scene. I hate like waiting in lines. I hate crowd. I hate being in like big crowds. I hate like everything about that. Um, it gives me, it gives me anxiety. So I didn't ever plan to go to her concert and I never really planned to go to any concert. The last concert I went to was literally in college. How cute. I got this paper last year, so I have no idea where it's from. Probably like Target or Home Goods. This is the Nike. This is the bag I got from Nike. If you can see, hopefully it's kind of like a sling. It kind of goes across. It's like a one strap backpack. Pretty good, right? I am done wrapping for now. That's actually not everything that I need to wrap, but the other stuff I have to film something for um, a brand with first and then I can wrap it. So we're gonna work on that and then I can wrap everything up. Also you guys, I was featured on the YouTube homepage. Let's see if it's still there so I can show you guys. Okay, so this is it here, the YouTube homepage and they have Nima, it's called Flowers to like Black Creators. And then I saw this on my homepage and I'm like, oh, this is cool. So I'm like scrolling through the videos and then I see myself. I was like, what? So if you go to the YouTube, I don't know if it's still be there by the time this video goes up, but if you go to the YouTube channel, like the actual YouTube channel, then you'll see this and then you scroll and it's a playlist of black creators and I'm in here. What? Thank you. Okay, YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. I like way. Any aways. Also at Target, I picked up some wipes. These are just the Clorox multi-purpose paper towel wipes. Oh, are these the ones that I hate? I think I don't like these. Maybe, wait. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'll still try them. I think I don't like these though, for whatever reason. And I got, oh my gosh, like I completely forgot these were a thing that I always get every winter. But I got this one. This is the peppermint. I wish they had this in all the different things, but they only had the dish soap and the hand wash. And I didn't really need hand wash. So I got the dish soap. This one smells so good, it's my favorite. Actually, I'm not sure. Maybe I like the other one better. I really love the peppermint, it smells so good. And then I also got, and then I got this one in Snowdrop. I think I like this one better. Let's, I'm gonna smell it because I feel like I like this one better. Oh, well, this one smells good. I like this one. This one smells really good. So I'll get another bottle of this so I can have this little like winter scents collection from, oh. And then I got some more things for Johnny. I'm doing a campaign, so I figure I would just get some more things to create like a to create like a package with the other items from the campaign. So these are not from the campaign, but I'm gonna create a package and it's gonna be part of the campaign if that makes sense. Also got him this type of loofah. It has like two sides, a double-sided loofah. And then I got him this bag to put everything into. It's from the brand Goodfellow at Target. He actually does have one of these bags, but I figure he can either keep this one and give the other one to Clay or give Clay this one and keep the other one, like whichever he doesn't, whichever one he prefers, he can keep and then give the other one to Clay. Or maybe he can use both. I don't know what he would want to do, but I figure either way this would go to use, but I wanted to get this one because I like the brown color. I actually need to work on that today. So I'm going to do that as due today but they didn't get, give me a, they didn't give me a time so <laughs> i'm going to submit it i'm going to submit it by midnight <laughs> because they said it's due today but they didn't tell me what time today so 
I didn't vlog me going to Sephora because I had no business being there. But this is Sephora next to Whole Foods. Literally, like, it's so dangerous. It's so, like, every time I go to Whole Foods, I go to Sephora. It's criminal. Anyways, I saw this perfume on TikTok last night. This girl was raving about it. So, I went to go get it. I wanted to smell it because she said it was, like, one of her favorite vanillas. It was really light and fresh. And it's a clean scent, so I wanted to try it. It's called Dulce. It's a very simple bottle, like very simple packaging, which I actually really like. And it smells so good. It smells very cozy and warm and sweet. It reminds me a little bit of the clean skin scent. It's similar to that one, but this one has more vanilla to it, which I am a huge vanilla person, in case you didn't know. I picked this up and then I got this from Say. I had gotten the shade Push and I wanted to get a different shade because I love it so much. This is the shade Dream. It's kind of like a purple color here. I'm gonna try it on right now because my lipstick kind of wore off while I was drinking my um, coffee. This is the color. So pretty, right? That's what I got from Sephora. Just a couple things, you know. My foot is falling asleep. Ooh. Wiggle my toes, wiggle my toes. I'm about to just relax for a little bit. It's 2.48 right now. So I'm gonna just take a break from work. I put on Real Housewives of Potomac and I'm on my laptop, but I'm just doing like Pinterest stuff. So cutesy things. I'm going to go make myself something to eat as well. My kids get home in a couple of hours, so I'm going to take this first hour to just do a little bit of self-care and then I'm going to edit in the next hour. So from three to four, I'm going to just, um, you know, watch the show. I'm gonna make myself something to eat and just relax, make a little cocktail, well, mocktail. I'm gonna make the chicken shumai, chicken vegetables, dumplings. Hopefully these taste good. I really hope they do because this is all I have <laughs> for lunch. Heat from frozen, open packaging and remove sauce packet. This sounds so easy. The serving is, the whole container is 390 calories. This is the sauce here. I'm only using this much juice, so two ounces of the juice. Mmm, this is good. Hey y'all, it's a lot later. I am back home. The fiasco that happened this afternoon. Y'all know my day was going kind of sideways all day. Anyways, last time I talked to y'all, I was like watching Housewives, you know, trying to relax for an hour. I get a call from Clay that apparently he didn't have a club today. And originally he had gone on his bus, but then he got off the bus. And to find out he didn't have a club today, so I had to go get him. And so that was the end of my uh, relaxation. <laughs> that was the end of my relaxation. So I ended up going to get him. I came back home, edited my clips for the brand i submitted that um i literally am paused on giselle <laughs> from three hours ago um we're having dinner and then we're gonna go to the school they're having like some festivities for the holiday tonight I did stop at sally's when i got clay and i picked up a comb uh not a comb a scissor so i could cut my hair i'm gonna try cutting it a little bit later tonight you know change it up a bit i kind of like the side part now i don't know so yeah, I'm, we're going to cut it though. Alright, so these are the um, combs that I got. I got the, I got this precision cut and comb here. So I got this comb. It has like a blade in here to help you cut your hair. And then I got these scissors to help me cut the ends. Good morning. I just got dressed. I am actually about to cut my hair. I got my tools yesterday, but I never used them make it so it's not like a straight across cut i feel like this scissor is probably just not good quality i don't know we're gonna use this to okay so i just finished my makeup and my hair i just kind of like passed the round brush through it yeah 
I have more time I would bump my ends and just make it a little cuter but I'm gonna hold this with me I need a case for this y'all I really love this I actually really really love it it holds the powder in there so like yesterday yesterday I went to touch up and I just literally like use this and it definitely like really helped touch up my makeup and I love the way it touched my makeup up so I'm gonna see if they have any cases for this I'm gonna wear the Dolce Gabbana today all right let's go let me show you guys my outfit I need to put a light actually so you can see better all right quick outfit outfit online it's like the turtleneck one and then I'm wearing these jeans from AG jeans I literally have no belts I just have this one a cheetah print one and a brown one so I guess I need to look into getting some more belts because I'm not really a big fan of this one because these for shoes Hey y'all, so we just got done with brunch. It was so good. We went to Angel Angelina Paris. It was so good. We had, we both had the chicken. I think it's, um, I forget the name of the chicken, but it came with chicken, mashed potatoes. I had the hot chocolate. I wanted to try it because it's their, like, um, it's what they're known for. The hot chocolate was really, really good to take. But yeah, food was really good. My mom loved her food as well. She had their, uh, she had their mango juice. It was really good too. I haven't really vlogged much since I left the city. I think that was the last time I vlogged. Basically, my mom and I left the city. Oh my gosh, you guys. I saw Chelsea Janae on one of the streets. I think it was 6th Avenue. I rolled on my window like a crazy person and I'm over here yelling out, Chelsea. <laughs> she said hi. She didn't recognize me though because I was in the car. That's who I was later. I uh, messaged her on Instagram. It was like LMAO. It was so hilarious for me because I could not believe. I'm like, how? What are the chances that I don't go to the city that often? I go to the city maybe like once or twice a month and what are the chances that the day i go the exact same street at the sac at the exact same time honestly a lot of times i go to the city i'm downtown like soho area never really in that area because it's very like it's a lot going on usually in that area it's like a lot of tourist stuff to do so i was not expecting that but yes ma'am that happened i was really excited to see her in person even though i couldn't if i was near like a spot where i could park i would have definitely got out the car to say hi up close but we were literally in traffic there was no like street parking there was cops directing the traffic it was just really a hot mess good morning it's the next day i need to get myself together i need to get myself all the way together so today is actually Clay's birthday. I'm going to decorate and get him a cake. I'm going to actually go grab that this morning. And then I need to wrap his presents, decorate with the stuff I got yesterday at Party City. And then just, yeah, celebrate later. I'm trying to decide what we should get for like food because Clay really loves like red lobster. He also loves pizza. Those are his two favorite like things to eat all right y'all so this is my outfit i'm wearing this black top it's from my outfit online for today's perfume i'm gonna wear dolce gabbana it smells so good like so let's just go all right i put my scarf on and everything like it's freezing out here and this jacket is warm, but it's not like, I need something a little warmer. So packed. I also just got my coffee. I went to roast it again. I've been there like three times this week, so kind of ridiculous. But their coffee is really good. If you're in Brooklyn, definitely check out Roasted in Nanuet. And they also have a location in Jersey somewhere, like North Jersey, I think. Okay, we're going to go get the cake. I love chocolate cake, so I'm going to go grab him a chocolate cake. Hopefully they have chocolate. They should. Carousel cakes. These are their cakes. I'm gonna get Clay the chocolate outrage. Cause he loves chocolate. 
We got the cake. I gotta get a topper. So we're gonna check Target. See. I'm doing praise and worship this morning. That's like my, uh, that's what I'm jamming out to. <laughs> Girl, it is literally snowing outside. Wait, why is it so dark? Is it on snow mode? Okay. Look at this, look at this uh, gift wrapping paper I got for Koi. It's so cute. He loves pizza. But it's snowing. got this happy birthday sign for the cake topper just like this i ended up picking up this pack of red bows for all the presents that i wrapped <laughs> Let's go. i'm ordering red lobster i got clay his uh lobster meal with shrimp and then we got a family meal for the rest of us because this does not come with any lobster and he really needs lobsters so yeah, I'm just ordering this right now. Actually, let me see if I can find a little coupon. A red lobster coupon. Got some salmon, some shrimp, some of this. I'm in the thing. I'm in the door, guys. All right, come on, quick, 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 go. Go uh -oh. where you see daddy. Are y'all gonna get mommy or what? I got her. You did? Yeah, okay, if I good. didn't, she would have died. <laughs> so you gotta stay in the house. All right, mommy, come in the Let house. Let me need beds, right? Get in, get in. Man. Get in. I'm trying. <laughs> get in the house. Am I in? No. <laughs> I died. The baby you, zombie. Got, you didn't close the door. No, no. You're supposed to close the door? Do I respawn? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mommy didn't close the door. That was my sister, guys. Oh, I got a crazy little, um, a little baby. Um, run, Jazz. You want to see them things? A no, baby zombie. 